Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In my previous videos, I have talked about the various steps involved to start the journey of success. There I have talked about how a dream and imagination is important for uh, developing your goal of life. I've also talked about the need for a strong purpose and a strong desire to support your goal. And in my last video, I have talked about how to set a goal in life. Now, once you set a goal in life, the next important step is to plan. Planning for different areas. And in specifically, I will talk about the four areas of planning where you have to meticulously make your planning. The first is the planning for a short-term and long-term goal. Means you have to fix, find out that what are the what are your short-term goals and what are your long-term goals? What is your long-term goal? Although when you have decided a goal, that is your final or long-term goal, but the short-term goal that you have to uh, specifically uh, make or define because you will achieve your short-term goals within a short period of time, maybe after one month, by two months, by three months or by six months. So you have to make a, a detailed steps, the detailed uh, understanding of your short-term goal. That's what you're going to achieve at different short intervals. It should be detailed and clear. Remember, it, your short-term goal will depend upon your current capabilities in that period, within that small period of time, your capabilities, your, your, uh, your uh, extent of your learning, extent of your experience, your resources and everything. According to that, you may have, your, you have to define your short-term goal. As you grow in life, develop your resources, develop your experience, develop your learning, your, your short term your goal may be more better or maybe superior goal or a better goal. So according to that, your current position, you will you define your short term goals, you will plan for that, that at what point of time, uh, clearly defined time period, whatever you are going to achieve uh, and that you have to find out. And the second thing is you have to reiterate your long-term goal which you have already decided that should be definite that should be defined within a time period and it should be, you should be absolutely clear about it a clear a defined goal will be embedded into your subconscious mind which is ultimately going to help you in achieving your goal and not only that you should always a clearly defined long-term goal should you should always imagine it you should visualize it once you when you imagine your long-term goal, when you visualize your long-term goal, that gets embedded into your subconscious mind and that becomes, that helps you to achieve your goal better, helps you to achieve your goal easily. So once you make a planning for your short-term goal, that what you are going to achieve in a shorter period of time, then you have to plan for your path. A path has to be how you are going to achieve your short-term goals also, what steps that you are going to take and that should be detailed enough. You should be very clear about what you are going to take, what you are going to do. But the question is, how do you find out? How do you decide that? For that, you may have to look for the life of successful people. Maybe it's in the books, maybe in the website, maybe in the periodicals or journals, or even if there is a successful person to whom which you can meet with, you can talk to him, you can discuss about it. I mean, you should find out the knowledge from your surroundings and find out that the different steps that is involved for planning your path, what path people have followed and which is out of which that's what is most suitable to you and you will define, make a planning for your path. So once you make a plan for your short term goal and your long term goal, the second thing is to plan for your path. And once you, your path is clear that these are the steps you are going to take, then you need to define the various learning that is required because you know that what you what is your state of learning or extent of learning within you and whatever action that you need to take for achieving those for uh, going into that part or path or achieving those short-term goals what kind of learning is required that you have to define and so you have to go into the details of the learnings required and you have to set a time frame for achieving or for getting those learnings and for every unit of learning, you have to define a time frame by which you're going to acquire it and you're going to implement it 
for ultimately taking the steps in your path to achieve your short-term goal and long-term goal. So once you accomplish that, so we have to, what you have done, we have taken three steps, three plannings. Number one, planning for a short-term and long-term goal. Second, the plan for your path. And the third is your plan, plan for your learning. And the fourth is the plan for your action. Now that is the most important thing. Whatever you have done so far will be ultimately be carried out through your actions and that is what is going to reflect in your achievement of success in life. So you have to plan for your actions means you have to plan for which actions you are going to take to follow a step, to accomplish a step, to go into your path for achieving your short term goal and that has to become defined by a specific time period. That at what point of time, what kind of action that you are going to take when you are going to do what that has to be defined clearly defined the more clearly you depict those things the more clearly you make the blueprint of your actions the more better will be achievement of your success in life so for that you may have to make a everyday to do list that what you are going to do every day and in your everyday to do list there will be two kinds of things one is there are certain fixed habits that you have to follow Say for example, you may find out, you may decide that for one hour every day, I will read books or uh, for detailed things for learning so that I can learn something. So I'll devote my one hour time for learning things towards achievement of my goal. So you have to find out if time in your two-day list for fixed habits as well as certain variable work that has to be, that will change over a period of time, right? And, but then the most important thing here is that Whatever you may decide for towards achieve, the actions that you will take towards achievement of your goal being included in your to-do list has to be adjusted with has to be adjusted with the other priorities of your life. For example, your family, your a job, your other professional uh, engagements. So you have to keep time for those things also. You have to find out. You have to make a planning for action within defined defined period of time and uh, keeping all those things into mind and that becomes a very important task for you the more prudently you can do it the more better you do it the better will be the achievement of your success in life so in a nutshell again i'm summarizing it you have to take four actions four planning number one plan for your short-term goal and plan for your long-term goal second thing is planning for your planning for your the the learning and the planning for your path and planning for your time or planning for your actions these are the four things that you have to do and then what is the next you have to relentlessly work with determination and uh, persistently and consistently and if you can do that the success is yours with that thank you very much for the day next time i'll come out come up with another video on different aspect of success till that time thank you very much all the best but before i leave you please do subscribe to my channel so, and also hit the bell icon so that i can send you the, my the message for my next videos in, to you in time thank you very much all the best god bless